guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be doing another love reading for the zodiac sign of aquarius so if you have aquarius anywhere in your birth chart this video may resonate with you so don't forget to like share comment and subscribe okay you guys i'm back at home so you guys you got to get all these readings for me okay so today is june 13th and the prayer says i love to be in your presence father for you bring sense to the confusion around me. You impart your wisdom to those who seek you, and you also encourage me to seek other wise people. Please bring those people into my life and give me humility to learn from them. Welcome me today, God. And just say, Amen. So, yeah, I'm about to spray some of my All Things Intuitive spray. I got this from Etsy. Okay, they make cards and stuff like that, but this is like an energy clearing sage smudge spray. Okay, I spray that. Okay. So, let's see. Spirit guides. I love the light and sisters and masters. My angels are the pearl and light. What's going on for Aquarius and my collector and love currently? All oh, you guys, you can see my tattoo, but it say blessed. Okay, this is my new tattoo. And then I had got this tattoo as well, like a heart. Okay, so let's see. I hope everybody's been having a great day. Has it been raining where y'all at? Because it rained where I was at. Okay, it was going to be a tornado, but thank God it didn't happen. Okay, because the girl was scared. I'm scared. I do, would not want to go out that type of way. Definitely not in a natural disaster. Okay. So let's see. Spirit guides of our night, ancestors and masters, and the angels of the pound and light. Ooh, the star card popped over. So I'm going to take this. Okay, this is Aquarius energy. Okay, so I'm seeing here that you guys are feeling very optimistic, Aquarius. Okay, you feel very hopeful about the future. You've just been in a lot of, like, good energy lately, okay? You could have been around, like, a lot of good people. You could be meeting new people, okay? But these people are, like, very good for you to be around, okay? they good energy, positive, okay? And it's like you are inspired by the people that surround you, Okay? So what I'm seeing with the star card, and it's also people are inspired by you, okay? You could be, like, in the spotlight or something like that. Some of you guys could have got, like, a star tattoo or just got an Aquarius tattoo, okay? But let's see. What's going on, okay? We have Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are doing amazing. Definitely financially, okay? You guys are looking very soon. You have a lot of people that want to be with you, okay? They want to be in your energy. They want to be friends with you, okay? And I'm seeing that you're very, like selective for who you bring around you okay because you know you have a lot to offer you know people will try to use you and abuse you you do not want that okay is i'm seeing here that you have healed from a situation like that regarding relationships okay um ex-friends stuff like that okay or you know family members like you removed a lot of people from your life that wasn't serving anymore that wasn't trying to grow okay with you okay Right, elevate with you. But I'm seeing here you're extremely elegant right now, okay? You're enjoying the fruits of your labor. You could be traveling and things like that, okay? But you're very abundant right now. And we have the tower here, okay? So you could be connected to a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or another Aquarius like yourself, okay? But I'm seeing here, okay, people have seen like you've changed a lot. The tower is about change, okay? And I'm seeing here, it's like people are looking at you like, you know, there's some people that's looking at you like, oh my God, who this person think they is? And there's some people that's looking at you like, proud of where you came and how far you come okay and i'm seeing here it's like you're not looking back okay like it's like you don't want to be around nobody that's not open to change as well it's like that's what i'm seeing that's why you're single now because it's like some people that could be coming towards you like these people just stuck in the same cycle and same cycle same cycle same cycle but i'm seeing here you have changed okay and this was mean for you to change okay how the universe set it up it was for you to change okay if that makes sense i'm saying here it's like you have some type of calling here where you either have to be like helping other people yeah i'm saying like you're helping other people okay and it's like whatever you do for work or it's like it make you very abundant here okay where you could buy things that you want and need okay and we have a lot of cups here okay so i'm seeing here that something could have happened here with the pisces or aquarius here okay that you was either connected to it could be any sign okay but i'm seeing here Okay, that somebody wants to come in towards you, okay? This person wants to show you a lot of attention, love, and affection here, okay? They want to flirt with you. We have the seven cups here, okay? This could be like an option in love, okay? This person wants to like take things slow with you. Well, I'm seeing here you're taking things slow with somebody, okay? And we have the seven of cups and we have the ace of wands. Yeah, I'm seeing here this is an option, okay? That's going to come in towards you, okay? This person really wants to, like, get your attention. They want to, like, you know, buy you things, okay? I don't know if somebody from your past is trying to come back, okay? But I'm seeing here... 
it's like you have so many offers coming in towards you that you can be confused. It's like it's a lot of people that want to flirt with you, that want to just, you know, come and change your life. There's some people that's coming in towards you that's actually good energy that really want to love you and show your affection. Okay, but be careful because I'm seeing you have a lot to offer. So don't be careful. Like, make sure you use your discernment on these people. Okay, use your intuition. Okay, because you don't want nobody coming in towards you that's trying to use you. Okay, because they see you, you the bomb, diggity.com. Okay, yeah. Okay. But I'm seeing here, it's like these people want to come into your life and change your life. Like they, they feel like they can add something to your life because they either feel like you either been. It's like some people know that you've been through a lot. Okay. And it's like these people want to come in and like change your life or something like that. Okay. For the better. Okay. And we have the seven of wands here. Yeah. I'm seeing here. Okay. That somebody's like sexually turned on by you. Okay. Clarify the seven of cups. Seven of Cups. Make sure these people that just want to come in to have sex. I'm seeing a lot of sexual energy here, okay? So if I have the Seven of Cups. Okay, okay. So I'm seeing here we got a little fortune and the lovers to clarify the Seven of Cups. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is somebody here that you have some type of connection with, okay? And I'm seeing here it's like you can feel because it's like you like, I don't know, should I like leave this person and take this leap of faith and go talk to somebody else? Some of you guys are dating new people while this person is still going through their tower moment. Okay, they could be changing, they could be going through what they're going through, but I'm seeing here that you're more like healed than this person. Like this person is trying to catch up to you. Okay, but I'm seeing here it's like this person, okay, is literally like wishfully thinking about hoping that you guys can get back together. This could be like a twin flame of yours, okay? Yeah, because we got a real fortune and lovers, okay? Okay, this person know that you are a blessing okay to them and that they're supposed to be in this connection with you okay but it's like they have to heal okay twin flame connection is not all about you know love and stuff like that it's about healing okay um you know learning lessons and stuff like that like the hard part about it people don't like to explain the hard part but it's the hard part about the twin flame journey and i'm seeing here is like this person is hoping that they still can come in towards you okay this person also could probably be thinking like if they come in towards you like with sexual energy okay or that they can fix things but be careful make sure you set your boundaries with this person with the seven of wands here okay let this person know like you know no like you can't be in and out okay that's not going to fix anything okay i i rather you be honest that's what's going to fix things Communicate communication okay but what i'm seeing here is that this person okay they could have had a lot of options okay you guys are marrying each other so it's like you had a lot of options they had a lot of options and they realize that these options is not really nothing okay you know it's like they just want something out of this person or you okay or they just want sex or something like that okay it's not like long term it's like these relationships be short term okay and i'm seeing here's like this person okay are going to be coming in towards you they help things to go good in their favor okay some of you guys are going to be very defensive towards this person this person coming towards you but they're very like turned on by you okay They're, they love how independent you are okay it's like they could be used to people that just always need them need them need them it's like you're just going on we have the king of swords here yeah so i'm seeing it's like this person is trying to be strategic they're trying to think really 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 think about how they want to come in towards you And we have the moon. Yeah, this person is going to be revealing secrets to you. The moon is in reverse. So it's like their secrets are coming out. Okay, this person is going to be speaking some type of truth to you. This king of swords is going to be in a Gemini or a Libra or another Aquarius you're connected to. I'm seeing all the signs here. And I'm seeing Pisces heavy. Yeah, see, and we have the seven of swords here. This person is going to be telling you the truth about, you know, why they lied, cheated, and manipulated you and snuck off to other people. Like, they're going to literally be telling you, okay, what you need to hear, what you want to hear. Not what you want to hear, but I'm just saying, like, you know, this is what you wanted to hear. You wanted this person to be honest with you, right? Not just saying, like, things that you want to hear, like, oh, my God, you're so sexy, you're so beautiful, you know? Not that. They probably do say that, but we have here the Queen of Swords. Yeah, they're going to be telling you the truth about some type of feminine energy here that they was either kept sneaking away and going towards while they was messing with you. This could be like a baby mother of theirs, okay? Yeah, they're also going to be telling you what this person was doing, okay? this They was being sneaky. Somebody could have cheated on them, okay? Or they was lying and sneaking around about something else. Could have been like regarding finances or something like that. Okay, yeah, but they let this person out on the cold with the five of pentacles here. They're going to be telling you about this, okay? Yeah, and that this person was trying to, like, you know, manipulate them, okay? 
lying to them so they won't leave them out in the cold because I'm saying this this baby mother that they had had some type of abandonment issues okay and this person wanted the finance you see with the five pentacles this person was worried about not having enough because they're so used to this person taking care of them okay yep we got, yep, see, they're coming in towards you. The chariot cancer, you could be connected to cancer. I'm seeing a lot of war energy in here. This person has so much love for you. They care so much about you, and they're rushing in towards you, okay? They're not letting this, this feminine energy manipulate them anymore, lie to them anymore, okay? Yeah, they're rushing in. They're focused on you, and they're ready to defend you, okay? Literally. And we have the Six of Pentacles here. Yeah, this person is ready to give to you, okay? They're going to come to give to you. They're going to support you, okay? They're going to be more generous to you, okay? Yeah, and I'm also seeing here, it's like, be careful with the Ten of Wands here, okay? Because this person, okay, still can be angry and upset. They have to forgive this karmic care. They have to heal from this relationship as well okay so make sure y'all take things slow okay because this person did just go through some type of terror moment here okay and they could be feeling overwhelmed they have to heal from this okay because i'm seeing whoever they left causing to feel very angry very upset okay and they could be holding a grudge against this karmic here okay because they mad because they, they this person was just using them literally okay just literally using this person yeah See, and they have so much stuff you they care so much about you the king of cups here okay this person is about to be extremely devoted towards you and we have the hermit here it's like when this person spent time alone they've been reflecting okay and taking care of themselves okay they realize who they was dealing with it's like they they're in quiet so it's like they can think straight now and they're really seeing that they manifest this okay because they was in that energy okay so they was like blinded to it okay yeah and it's like this person was when in solitude and they start you know really like searching for the answers okay of what was going on in this ten of pentacles dynamic that they was in over just because of finances here and they thought that this person was in love with them okay this is going to be their all for all but it wasn't okay yep now they have to heal that so allow them to spend time alone okay if you guys are not in communication right now you guys are not talking just know that they're healing from this okay they know the truth okay and it's like they're still finding things out about whatever situation he was in and also about you okay and we have the eight of swords here yeah this person is stressed out because they was in this situation for so long and they just like how did i not see what i was dealing with like how yeah, they thought that they had to stay in the situation. It's 10 of Pentacles dynamic here for whatever reason. They were stressed out. They felt in prison. Some of them can be in prison. Okay, we have a lot of cups here. Yeah, like this person is learning how to love themselves, okay? And it's like while they're learning how to love themselves, it's like they're thinking about you as well. You're going to wish for filming here. And they're thinking about coming towards you and living a life with you. Picturing, like how would a life be with, um, you know, Aquarius, okay? If they're going to be coming in towards you with some communication, okay? They're probably coming with a gift or something like that. Yeah, for a sword, this person has to heal. And it's like they're, as they're healing and they're resting and spending time alone, it's like they're getting a lot of, like, intuitive downloads here about this connection and about things in their life and also about themselves. And it's like, see, temperance. Now they want to balance things out with you and they want to be in a relationship with you, okay? This person is going to be in a committed relationship with you, okay? Right now they're balancing out their life, okay? And it's going to take some patience as well, Okay? Because this person's getting their life together, okay? So you don't know how long it's going to take, okay? So they're still healing as well with the four swords here. They're still getting their rest and recovery that they need from done, okay? With somebody that was very, like, dominant, very aggressive, okay? Okay? Yeah, if you have cups, see, they're going to be coming in towards you, reunite with you. You guys are going to have fun. You probably meet their family and friends, okay? And it's like the Six of Swords here. This person probably asks you, can you move with them, like, far away, okay? And they're going to be bringing a child with them or children with them, okay? You guys probably be a stepmother, a stepdad. Yep, see? You guys going to be, this person going to ask you to go with them, like, I think they're going to be moving, like, far okay and they want to marry you they want to travel with you okay and it's like they just want to just let go of all the problems that they was you know that was in this connection with all these third parties and shit like that like they don't want to just move away from all these people even family and friends have just been toxic and just been telling them to just stay where they're at yeah and they're coming to commit to you they're gonna stay this time okay so i know y'all be worried about is this place gonna leave they're gonna go back no this person is staying now the pentacles and the four of wands they're staying okay so I'll give you guys some advice. Okay. 
Okay. So let's see. Yeah, and as this person trying to move away, it's going to be people trying to rush in with some type of fast communication. Okay, trying to hold on to this person. Okay, not trying to let this person go. Okay, these karmics, they don't they don't give up. Okay, so be aware of that, but you don't have to worry about. Okay, so let's see. Spirit guides, love, light, and sisters and masters, make good prayer. Like, give me some advice for Aquarius, for my collective. Oh, whoever is resonated with this reading. Yeah, see, look, you're ready. See, you're ready. It's time, okay? It's time to make that move, okay? And reconsider. So some of you guys need to reconsider something, okay? Don't allow nobody to come in and, like, you know, make you feel like you're not ready, Okay? Because they have insecurities. Okay? What else? And we have it's up to you. Yeah, Spirit Sun is up to you, but you need to reconsider something. They're warning you, you need to reconsider something, but it's up to you. Okay? You're ready? You're not ready. It's up to you. Spirit is saying you need to choose a new direction. I feel like this is for both of you guys. All of you guys actually choose a new direction. Okay? It's up to you. So, some of you guys is thinking like you have to stay in this situation. You don't. You don't have to stay stressed out. You don't have to stay in no um, family dynamic here that you feel that you know is not serving you anymore. You don't have to. You're ready for something better. It's time for you to choose a new direction. But it's up to you. This is your life. Okay? So, even the divine feminine is here. Okay? It's up to you. Do you want to sit in this situation and wait on this person? Okay? Because you have a new direction. You have somebody that's going to be coming in towards you. I'm pretty sure we have a lot of options in love right now. Okay? So, I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!